There's two types of aluminum molds out there. You got your CNC milled molds. These guys right here, which are pretty awesome. And then you have your sand cast aluminum molds. This is one from Do It Molds. This is the Yamamoto Senko mode, which is awesome. So you can open it up. That's what it looks like. And as you can see between the two, one looks a little shinier than the other, if you can tell. And this one's a little less shiny. And the end result of that is a lure that either has this type of matte finish or a lure that has that shiny gloss finish. The finish most of you are used to buying right out of the pack, right off the shelf. So I'm gonna show you how to get that look, but not have to spend the 2X, 3X on the CNC milled molds. And I'm gonna show you how to do it using the sand cast aluminum molds, specifically the Essential Series from Do It. All right, let's hop in. So guys, this is the Yamamoto Senko 5 inch from Do It. I'm not affiliate in any way. Essentially, this is a sand cast aluminum mold. A sand cast is a process of forming aluminum into a mold pattern. It basically uses a mixture of sand, bentonite clay, and water to create this mold, which is pretty rad. This one I poured and shot, and this mold right here, the sand cast, and it's kind of has that matte finish. And this right here, especially when it sits side by side, right? Uh, this is straight out of the package. This is a Strike King shimmy stick. So what we're going to try to do is a little hack to make these $50 molds have the same output in glimmer and shine as literally if you were to buy this mold CNC, it'd be twice the price. It's $100. So how can we get a $50 lure mold to look like a $100 CNC milled mold? Let me show you how I'm going to do it. So what I did is bought some Rust-Oleum automotive primer, a high heat primer, resist heats up to 2000 degrees. And what I'm going to do is put a thin layer of this over top. Now you might be thinking, oh, it's going to make the mold smaller, right? Make the lure smaller. And you really love that Yamamoto feel and the weight to it. Keep in mind, this is only like one thousandth of an inch. So if you can give up a couple thousandths of an inch to get that milled feel, then this would be a good way to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this on, open up this guy right here. This is step one. I'm going to stay about eight to 12 inches away and just kind of back and forth, back and forth. So I'm going to do that. And there you have it. So you're gonna to wanna to let this cure for about an hour or so. And so I'll be back in like an hour so we can put the second layer on. All right guys, this is dry. Good to go. So now what I'm gonna do is get some rust oleum engine enamel and this is the enamel paint. So I'm gonna spray this on. The key to this is once you spray it on, it actually takes quite a bit of time to cure. So you're gonna want this to cure for about seven days. It'll be dry to the touch in about an hour or so, but for it to fully cure, you're gonna want this to go for seven. So let's go ahead and spray this on. Rocking and rolling. So I got a seven day work trip. I'll be back in about seven days. And when I do, we'll test these out to see if we can get those nice shiny gloss baits going on. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So what I'm gonna do, if you just leave it in there, the paint will kind of pull to the bottom and that's not what you want. So I'm gonna let this dry upside down, basically balance it on the cap. All right guys, back to my work trip and I'm excited. This is dry and man, look at that, nice and shiny. So um, I'm gonna do some remelts today. Basically I just keep track of all kinds of lures and stuff I'm not gonna use anymore. And we're gonna melt this down. So what you wanna do is you wanna take, this has kind of been going for a little while. And that has been melting down. I did that a few times. So let's make sure that is nice and mixed. We're not there yet, I can tell. The idea is you don't want to see any clumps. And as you can see here, I'm seeing clumps. All right, that should be good to go. That's good. If you have a glove on, this stuff can get hot. Suck it up in. Perfect. Let's see what we got here. All right, guys, time for the grand reveal. Let's see how these two came out. All right. Got that matte look for these guys. Now, let's take a look at the painted modified. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I like it. Look at that. Let me put these side by side for you. Definitely a noticeable difference when it comes to the shine. You guys see that? Kind of more of a matte. This is reflecting a lot of the light. All right, now let's look at it side by side. Let's say some worms straight out of the package from Straight King. 
Let's see how these add up. Guys, I'm telling you, these are shinier <laughs> than the out of the box. Check it out. It's pretty sweet now. Check it against Sandcast. Yeah, these are a little shinier than this. So there you go, guys, for a little bit of money and some paint and some cheap mold, you guys got yourself that out of the package look and feel. So go ahead and put some worm oil on this. You'd be good to go, package those away. And man, you're good to go. Oh, I can't wait to throw these. Yes, victory is mine. And if you guys want a video on how to remelt your lures into new ones, I'll walk you through that entire video. You can check that out right there. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.